Hello everyone, uh, and welcome to this week's stream. Today we'll be streaming uh, the beautiful uh, Crouch Valley line um, from UK Train Sim. Uh, I'm pleased to say that it's loaded properly this week, so um, yes, hello, we are driving a um, Greater Anglia Class 321 from here uh, down to London Liverpool Street. We're currently at South End Victoria. Along the way, we'll be calling at Prettowell, South End Airport, Rochford, Hockley, Rayleigh, Wickford, Billericay, Shenfield, Romford, Stratford, and London Liverpool Street. Where we'll arrive in just over an hour's time. Uh, this Crouch Valley route it is available for free on UK Train Sim if you have a certain list of requirements. Um, um, I'll definitely link the Crouch Valley line down below because it is a really great route. Um, the assets in it is just so detailed. Um, which is unusual for a freeware route, but it is, yeah, it's really good, definitely do recommend it. We're due to depart out here at South End Victoria at 0910. Uh, so, in the meantime, I'm just going to introduce today's guest, uh, who is, once again, uh, JP Rollway Photography 2021. Who else? What's, what? Who else will it be? Oh, I thought you said hello in a really weird way. <laughs> Alright, let's head off. Also, one thing we do want to do before we depart is turn the DSD off and set the doors to guard because we're lazy. Oh, we haven't set up the train yet. Very funny. Right, and DRA off. Uh, let's say hello to everyone in chat. Uh, hello to your batty Pong F, F, F Pong's F1. Uh, hello, um, Diego Meza. Hello, uh, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, um, you're all doing well. That's Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you're a bit late. We are saying hello to you. Apologies about that. I would do the same scenario as you at the moment, but however, trains are having stupid and it's a corrupted my phones again. Wait, has it done that again? That's the third time it's happened. Wait, you already know this, don't you? Wait, is it wait? Has it happened again since I sorted everything out before a couple of weeks ago? Well, the routes haven't returned. Ah. Uh. Sure, what to do that. That's what I can say. I think it's the brighter main road that's corrupted it. Now, if it's just one route that's corrupted, it should only be that route that's corrupted, not the entirety uh, of the line. Hello, Roscoe Train 107. Hello, it is nice to see you down in your stream. I do like your Train Sim Journeys series. They're very fun to watch. I do watch them. No, Diego, Mesa, don't go. Driving the 317 in this snow area. Oh, man. To a pretty well, one stop out of South End. I really do hope to visit here sometime because it's quite a nice station. This is slip and slidey from Stansted Airport down to Bishop Stalford, and the train just gave up for me. Ah, uh, yeah, the 317 will slip. Yeah. Even if you're like at 40, 45 miles an hour, the train gives up. I think it depends on um what stage of power you're in. So if you go, for example, 100% power. Notch two. Well, you're in notch 2 going 40 miles an hour. Yep. And it was still wheel slipping. What I've experienced with the um. 317 is if you put it in full power under about 50 miles an hour then it will wheel slip a ton 
But if you set it to like, I don't know, notch 3 slash 80% or what's it called on the 317s, it's called something parallel stage. Um, and then it's fine. I mean, you should really. It's not been snowing. You've been quite lucky with the snow, haven't you? We haven't been so lucky over here. Well, um, all my grandparents, they've got it my, much better because it's very dangerous in the Snow is starting to start, but the snow is a bit deep. I'm saying 10 centimetres of snow, but we haven't, I mean, you haven't really had uh, that much, but it looks like you might do. Well, it is like minus one, so. Let's see, we're going to have it until Friday. Snow conditions with low visibility, the high would be 3 degrees. Snow showers tonight will be low, minus 3. Alright, we're now arriving at South End Airport Railway Station. A quite a good place to as I, film. As I go, like a backup solution to that train scenario. Not leaving files properly. I've got train signals on my Xbox, so that could be my solution. The train mode is a really nice game. I've got the Great Western Express. Oh yeah, that's a really nice route as well. Do you have the new South East? Oh no, is the South Eastern High Speed only for Train Sim World too? Yeah. And let's just talk about South End Airport Station right here. The custom assets they put into this is absolutely amazing. It looks almost like a German station, if you see what I mean. There is a track patch for the road, apparently. Yeah, it's on Alan Thompson Sim. I forgot to download it. It looks fine anyway, but the skies do look um, unrealistically blue. Um, but it is. I did set it to summer. Oh, I forgot to change it from summer, actually. I was watching on Wellcam earlier, and there was three trains in the same place. Oh wow. A 73, 37, and a 92. Was that a crew? Oh yeah, that, was, that happened a few, um, some time ago. Well, at the time, I saw a 73 come in, then somehow, the 37 was allowed into the block. Then the 92. And I said to the chap, are they queuing up for McDonald's or something? <laughs> Of course we have to stop at the end of the platform. I've just lived, I've come in as slow as possible and we have to stop at the end of the platform, it's always really annoying. What was happens. lucky was, um, the sense of three went off a few minutes after the phase seven came in, and the phase seven number was phase seven, eight, eight, four. Oh, so it was the Europhoenix one. Yeah, which recently dragged three two ones to Newport recently. There's another pair going up to Newport on Tuesday. But it's not the same time as the last ones. It's right. the OA twenty seven from Captain Carasano. There's another pair of 321s that went for uh, scrap some time ago, I think it was during the last week. Uh, 321, 351 and 350 also went for scrap. 
Uh, along to join previous three two one three five seven and four four six, I want to say. Uh, I think four four six has gone up. Was it four four seven? It was three five seven and something else that went. Oh yeah, it was four four six and three five seven. Hello chat, hello 321. It says Ben Whitemere. Hello, welcome. It's the trains on missing on trains on missing. I can imagine it's probably yeah, it's the if it's if it's the train it's not it's, it's the way that train sim reads the files I think is the problem that you're having. And there's nothing else to do except for that except um reinstall all the content again. I mean, Train Sim is a really beautiful game, but it does have its flaws as well. And Train Sim may crash soon. I exit Train Sim. Oops, I didn't mean to sound the horn twice. Can sound it a few more times. Why not? That was. I'm trying to go back and train somewhere to see. Um, the crouch fairy line is on there. It is on there, I'm going to do. Was it the, just for that tiny section of track that the gradient units are measured in metric units? That's so weird. Now, you look. Did you see that? Now we're back in Imperials. I don't know why it's done that. That's funny. But I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure why it's done that. I've had a similar problem before, but not as much as you have. I'm not sure why. Standard, yeah, the crouch rally is in standard. Lucky I still have it. Yeah, it's probably because it's a third party route. <laughs> it hasn't got one of those stupid things that does trade to open. A 377 Southern from London to South London. <laughs> One, that's cursed, and two, it's wrong. Now arrived in at Rochford, we have a service that's just past uh, platform two. Rochford? No, we're not Rochford, we're at Hockley, aren't we? Yep. Hockley. Oh, my. So now I tried to make him, he's on there. From Wickford to Southminster. The task I gave it was, Hello driver, you've been charged with 2 Juliet 22, 1016 Wickford to Southminster. Going at all stations along the way. At North Cambridge, you'll be held for almost 2 minutes below. Another service passed through, but apart from that, I mean, the Crouch Valley lines you get, um, obviously the Crouch Valley line itself, which is a. Uh, oh no, we're rolling backwards, it's being silly again, right? Um, maybe each time you arrive into a station, maybe if that happens, we could train into neutral. <laughs> no, we can't be bothered to do that. I mean, that might solve the issue, but. Uh, with the Crouch. It doesn't cause any issues, trust me. But why would you put the train into neutral as soon as you arrive at the station? It stops the train reversing backwards on its own. You can stop the train reversing back if you put it in, um, if you just, if you just slam the train into full service. I'm going to see how many assets I'm missing if I drive the AP317. It's so a good thing about the Crutch Valley line is you get the, uh, Extension, the full extension of line from Shenfield uh, all the way down to uh, South End. It's a separate route, 
uh, from the uh, original Great Eastern Main Line. It's not like a fancy extension or something like that. Um, so the Great Eastern Main Line from uh, north of Shenfield is not simulated. Um, but you do get um, a variety of different lines. You get um, first of all, you get the Subbury extension from Marks Tay to Subbury. You get that extension included as well, uh, which is really nice. It's quite a short route, but it's um, that means you get all of the extensions off the Great Eastern Main Line, except the Clacton, uh, Clacton Sunshine Coast Line from Colchester down to Clacton slash Walton. Um, so that's one that's currently missing. But apart from that, we have all the extensions uh, on the route. Past a 3 one going from Ilford down to South End. In reality, that would be a 720. Um, but you also get the line from Wickford to Southminster as well. Um, that is the Crouch Valley line itself. That's what the route's named after. Um, the Shenfield to South End branch, I think, is just called the so Shenfield to South End branch. But yeah, it is a really good route. Definitely recommend it. Um, I'm just going to have a look on UK Train Sim for the requirements. Alright, so the requirements for the Crouch Valley line, uh, you need Isle of Wight, London to Brighton, uh, West Coast Main Line, I'm not sure which West Coast Main Line, you need West, uh, West Coast Main Line North, that's the section between Glasgow uh, and Carlisle, uh, and Edinburgh to Glasgow route, and also the Great Eastern Main Line, the base route from uh, Ipswich down to Liverpool Street. So those are all the requirements you need, so it's not a lot of requirements uh, in terms of uh, assets wise, you don't need any UK trains and freeware packs, stuff like that, which many other freeware I'm routes back. need. Hello again. Just explaining about the requirements for um, the UK trains and Crouch Valley line. Mm. It also has the Stubbury line as well. Indeed. Oh, yes, and you also get the um, London Overground extension from Romford down to Upminster. I forgot about that, it's just got so many things. It's, got, it's just got such a great route. What? I'm gonna question when I try to load up my Alexander Crate. Crate the one thing. Manage to my face and DLC. Mm. Then I'm um, tick them and retick them. See if that solves the issue. I doubt it will. I've tried that once before, but um, might get some luck. Because yep. I'm missing the roll roads and trains. Here at Rayleigh, front doors haven't opened for some reason, but the platform isn't level with the train. You can see that at Wickford, it's also quite funny. You can see um, passengers' heads bobbing above the platform. Hello, Max is train spotting. Max, hello, uh, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Should I do one at a time or all of them at the same time? Uh, Try one at a time, first of all. Right. If that works, then try it. You can uh, try all of them. Because somehow... Because remember, when you checked my files a while ago, the Brighton mainline file was in there. Oh uh, yes, I remember that. I'm not sure where that was. Which, to me, a bit odd, but... He must have. I mean, I don't know why I would have deleted it, but um, that's that sounds like the sort of thing I'd do. I know you wouldn't delete any files on purpose. Really. No, I, would, I wouldn't delete anything on purpose. <laughs> but I'm, I might have done it by mistake. Um, but it should reinstall if you uncheck and if you uncheck and then tick the box again. That's one of the many good things about Steam. On the section of line between Rayleigh and Wickford. Uh, so we're about halfway along the main line between uh, Shenfield and South End. The good thing is, um, what's the word? Um, the thing hasn't corrupted. That's good. I mean, at least okay, you get some my, routes. 
quite a main one, but it's disappeared. Wait, oh. from... Never mind, it's just got moved up. Oh, wait. There's just something so amazing about refreshing a 3-2-1. Indeed, because you've got enough distance between stations that you can actually maintain that speed. Uh, and also one more thing uh, to announce, Suburban Glasgow is back. Uh, the steam workshop route that is uh, long gone um, due to development. Uh, um, and it was bought by DTG actually, <laughs> that's how good the route was. It was bought by DTG and then turned into uh, the northwest route between uh, Dumbarton Central and Springburn. Uh, that route is back, uh, so it features a merge between the West Coast Main Line North uh, and all its extensions and the West Highland Line. So it's uh, just as good as it was before, and it is uh, back uh, on a separate website. It's called North Clyde Lines uh, Blogspot, 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 uh, North Clyde Lines. Uh, so if you just search it up on Google, then Suburban Glasgow will come up, and one of its downloads will available be available for you to download. Can I just say right? Yeah, sure. For next week's stream, I'm only giving one thing, but no more could be given. We're driving the AP train through Derby. That's all I'm saying. Oh, and that could be so, so many really things. That's all I'm saying. So we will be driving uh, next week's. Um, I think I might have actually put it in the description. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I have. It's the next great anger unit, but. We're going to have a lot of fun next week, Sunday. <laughs> Might be a 153. I know, but they're with Transport for Wales, aren't they? Right, we've overshot the marker a bit. What I mean by 153 is like East Midlands trains and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean. When we talk about handcrafted routes, and unfortunately, you do get some things like this. At least the doors are open. The doors are open, indeed. Oh my god, that is it's just so funny. <laughs> Hello. What happened to her? Quite these on them. <laughs> Alright, we're well, now ready to part. Next up will be Billericay in just over four and a half miles. At Shenfield, we should bypass a AI that's passing Shenfield. Flying head time. I think it's one Yankee thirty-three from Ipswich. Uh, yes, we do. I'll just be ahead of us, and we can see. Whoa! Okay. Yep. We we're on career this time as well because I wanted to um, put this uh, s a scenario on Alan Thompson Sim as a scenario time. pack. Yes. Flying head time. Uh, also, if you play Train Sim World 2, you'll know that um, on the Bakerloo line there is a slight glitch um, where at, for ex um, one station I've noticed this happen is at Halsden and also at Kensal Green. Uh, passengers drop out from the sky and onto the platform. Uh, and sometimes the other way around, so it looks like they've just been yeeted into the air for absolute... Like they've just landed from space. Yeah, they just sometimes they get you like pinged up into the air, it's just the funniest thing to watch. Last time I got minus 500 on TS. 
Minus 500, wow. Is that just from speeding? Because I didn't realise the speed limit went down to 20. Why is the court That was all from speeding, wow. I mean, it wouldn't affect you speeding if it was like standard scenario because it doesn't take away any points. It just tells you speeding. You need to get a little message at the end telling you you speeded, but standard scenarios I think I prefer over career scenarios. Do you have a seventy coming up? Yeah. Uh, actually, I think as you enter Shinfield, it's a twenty miles an hour. Isn't it? Might be. Oh look. I mean, you've driven this route as well before, haven't you? Yeah, up to Gidea Park. I was Billy Ricky. Yeah, <laughs> Josh just said it. Billy Ricky. Not Billy Ricky. Yeah, I used to pronounce it in a really weird way. I mean, these English names aren't very <laughs> familiar to you, are they? Um, it's like a son C, but. Bill uh, Ricky. Billy Ricky. I did manage to cut some servants to service yourself. Let's see. I only stopped at Boo because one is coming from Chelmsford by bars and two, the bus I was on was a hybrid bus and it was overcrowded and almost everyone on board had food in there. <laughs> Either months in the way, or they don't care, or whipping it all around the bus. Oh dear. There are some weird reasons why we go to train stations. But Billy Ricky, yeah, it was a um, slightly weird place to come and film, but I'm sure that the views were. Uh, how was Billy Ricky? Was it a nice station to film at? I mean, Billericay's not known for being the nicest place in the world, but, um, let's see if the station uh, is against that. I think the perfect station for filming on the Crutch Valley Line between Shenfield and South End is pretty well. Um, South End Airport, Rayleigh, um, Wickford, and Shenfield. <laughs> All the stations look the same though, I think it just depends on the uh, the curves at either end. But Prittlewell is quite nice because it's uh, bang in the middle of South End and it's not particularly... And plus, after um, Prittlewell, you can hear trains sounding their horns going to the depot. Well, this is Billy Ricky. That would be the car park he filmed at just there. Whoops. Excuse me. Where the front coach of the P21 was, that's where I filmed. Uh, just up here? No. The front of the unit that you're driving. I see. Oh, that would be that would be a quite nice view. I mean, it would mean that you didn't have to go into the station. Let's just reenact one of those tones. What was annoying is, 
I didn't have enough time to run down into the car park or station platform to film a Southminster service passing through the gate. Oh, that's annoying. I saw it approaching in the distance because it was run, coming around the corner because it was following a Southern Victoria service. And if I did ask the staff for permission to film, um, I wouldn't be able to film the train. Well, there's quite a nice foot crossing just outside Billericay as well. You could film there. Yeah, just... but I don't think any bus is going near that. It, don't, it didn't look like too far away from the station, so you could probably walk there. I wouldn't know where, how to get there really. There's one. Um, I've n never seen it along the way. And two, I never noticed it in journey. Oh, I see. Because I normally get the 100 that goes to like Chilmsville and Lakeside. See. Looks like we can might arrive at Shenfield on time if we're lucky. Well, how I done it? I got into Shenfield about four minutes early. Wow. I left, I feel lucky in it, ain't I? So what I did was speeding over the limit. <laughs> I need like 10, like 5 or 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. I can get you 4 minutes earlier it seems. Yeah, we are going to arrive at Shenfield early. We will at least arrive on time. Just as well we turn the DSD off. Yeah, I'll fly. <laughs> Gun. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Every like three minutes or so. Yeah, and it's particularly if you're in an outside exterior view, you don't hear it going off. So you think, right, I'm going to try and get a really nice screenshot, and then the DSD goes off and the train slams itself into emergence. I might get that, I don't um, see that. Oh, we have a junction just there. Because whenever my AWS goes off, and I'm not in the um, cab, I get a little message pop up from the top part of my screen that says active AWS. I did think you get that with the DSD, which is quite annoying, but. No, um, not DSD, AWS, because. I never leave the DSD on. Yeah, you're quite right in doing that. We've just passed Mount Nessing Junction. Um, that is where the, there is a connection that goes up to Wingate Stone, avoiding Shenfield. Uh, we are now joining the Great Eastern Main Line. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Looks like we can recover from that, though. Can we recover from that? Yeah, we've recovered from it. I just slammed the train into emergency by mistake. Don't do that. Yep, don't do that. Yeah, this is the time I'm working to Shenfield. 0942. And if my theory is right, we've got to start again. Yeah, we do leave at 0940. Oh, no, oh. oh, no, we do leave at 0946, you're right. I keep pressing yeah. the wrong key for the uh, brake. Uh, okay. I haven't got my Xbox controller connected either. We should have a single yellow. Why do we have a and feather? Oh no, we're speeding. How, why, is, why are we speeding? Oh. We have got like a 20 miles an hour limit. Or 25. Yeah, I didn't see that. So you reminded me of that. Which 
two minutes early. Here we are at Shenfield. This is an angle you never really see in train sim, is it? And that we do have a green, actually. Oh. Well, they should be in AR in two minutes' time, passing Shenfield at 09.45. My theory's right, yeah. Is that the. I oh know that's a. It's it's so long then. Or did you remove that service? I think that one's already gone past, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the map. What's happened to the Ipswich to London? No, that's already gone past. How you know? I'm just looking at the map, I can't see it ahead. I can't see it before Shenfield Station, so. Yeah, we've already gone past it. It can't run early, that's for sure. Can you see where it is right now? Look, I think it's just south of the station. Oh no, I can't find it. <laughs> I might have, I might have uh, forgot to leave it. In, but that's no big deal. Unless you removed it or something. We do see plenty more AI along the route. We have uh, arrived in here early. We will be departing. Uh, I think we might be able to depart at 0945 and a half. I think is probably about the time we'll be able to depart. Uh, then we'll call it Romford, Stratford, and finally London, Liverpool Street. Where we see three on sevens. Don't give anything away. Don't give anything away. I didn't say what. We do, yes, we do see three seventeens at um, Liverpool Street. That's a pretty hasty response there. I didn't say what livery they Don't know what livery could it be in. Could be it's Great Northern. Could be the Red Door livery. No, no. We have a TFL Rail 315 arriving in. This is on to Whiskey 68 from Liverpool Street. This will all be stables here, as you might see it. Our formulator service back onto Liverpool Street. Are in, in this game, but the annoying thing is, there's no cut and fix. Yeah, so you have to just put all the TFL Rail services on platform 5. Unless. When my roots do come back from trains, I can maybe add a track that links into platform 6. Let's then do a bit of makeshift route editing. I can change one of the rows to a row that's pointing left. One going straight on. Good at that. No, but if you ch if you change the layout, then it'll probably be there. But it's probably better if it is there. Unless I can convince Dovetail Games to add an extra platform at Shenfield. No, I don't think they'll release the entire route again. Just add an extra platform at Shenfield, but they could. They, they, the Great Eastern Midland could do with a, few, a, bit, a bit more updates. We're missing two routes that should be added to the game. What are those? Captain on Sea and Walter on the Nose. I think that would be a, um, have to be a separate route, but no one's, I don't think anyone's even made that route so far in Train Sim. But maybe after a hive, we need to stop there. I think it's just because it's meant to be the Great Eastern Main Line itself. Also, no, that's not a deal. Chats from Deadpool Quarry. Indeed. We have a class 90 which is waiting here at a red signal. Why? I'm not sure why either. Oh, it's not in the first one. Is it reverse formation? No, the 90's at the London end, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the 90 was at the London end, so I did manage to get it in the correct formation today, which is good. I think the previous exchange had done. They didn't 
for personal reasons. Yes, I have, I have learned my lesson from that. The 90 is at the London end. Right, I'm just having a look at my track atlas. Just past Brentwood, what didn't we? Happens if the trousers get switched around the uh, What do you mean? What You mean what happens if the locos get switched? No, I mean, if the. Um. No. Um. DB2 is in. That's interesting. I must have. You know, how do you get a train into reverse formation? You must get it out of a depot the wrong way round. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> For example, at Crown Point, how does one get the D? How does one get the DVT at the London end without reversing onto the worry lines? be a good um, um, reasoning behind it. I remember when they run in the morning, this is a great thing in the morning, and if what it quite does is it goes through stairs from many middles down to uh, Down in the same line, so it connects up with the east coast main line. That's the most silly stupid thing we've ever seen. I'm not sure why it uh, does that. There that must be some reason why it, um, that was a thing. It's literally like a. Oh no! We completely forgot about Romford. We completely forgot about Romford. Well, oh yeah, well we'll get an operational error. Alright, let's just wait um here for a few minutes. Oh dear. Sorry. Yep. No way to jump on time now. Well we're well ahead of time. Not there, really, okay, because this is the time that falls into Winford. So we will, we will wait here for until 09.53. Uh, that was my mistake. I completely uh, missed Winford. Anyone that does get used from Alan Thompson's sim do not do the mistake that Charlie just did yes, otherwise you will lose a lot of points and it will be on your fault indeed 
Right, let's leave it at 953 because we will need to build up some time. Sometimes trains come into one boat dead on 52 and leaves one boat dead on 53. I've seen that happen loads of times. I've been travelling on the Upminster branch a lot lately. Not in the pandemic, obviously, but before the pandemic. And I always know what the South Victoria do, the London series sometimes does. It's not a signal every hour, is it? I think this is one of the peak time services, so you might uh, just have. Or does it? I don't know, they don't. You, you might be right. It's probably just because of the COVID timetable, they're stopping two head code services that stop at Romford are only in the mornings now. But, um. I don't think they were like that in a real timetable. Well, that's interesting. I just found a video of someone predicting the future of SER trains. Says here, for connect, they will add the class 455, 444, 456, the 701, 196, 365, I've never got added in the end, 175, 385, and probably. Even another locomotive such as the Class 67 with multiples and the DVT on connect. Right. What for air? They've already upgraded the Summer 7. Why would they upgrade the Summer 7? No. Hey, thanks. Oh, we have a freight passing us now. We have a, a double-headed freight liner service which is going from Trafford Park up to Felixstowe. <laughs> My FPS just dropped as I passed that train. We will stop at Stratford, I, we will stop at Stratford, I can guarantee that. Yeah, so far, right? I'll just do it under four miles to go. We're now passing Seven Kings Station. A few um, West Midlands Railway class 172s have been up to Ilford, haven't they, for uh, light maintenance work? Uh, 172006 yeah, went up last week. Then there was 007. I think it's the 172-0. 172-0, for sake. There's been high sightings of any dash. Um, twos and threes at Ilford. The dash twos and threes were at Ilford um, back in October last year. No, I mean since October last year. Yeah, since then it's just been the 172 dash zeros. Mm. Developer of the current rally route, um, wherever you are, please fix the broken speed limits. Bridge. 
And there it was, you heard the power cut out very briefly then. Just past Forest Gate. We have a 321 that just past us was going to Brentree. Did you know that? Not see. There was a 315 in the wrong path. Forest Gate. Oh, I might have put that in wrong, but uh, yep, this is exactly why the broken speed limits. Uh, CP Trains, uh, hello, um, hope you're doing well. Um, this route is available from UK Train Sim, so if you just search up UK Train Sim Crouch Valley route, uh, then it will come up uh, on Google if you just search it up, I guess. You need the island of Y, London to Lars Grove, West Coast Mainline Trent Valley. No, you don't need the Trent Valley. I think it's. Just having a look on the website. You need for the requirements Isle of Wight, London to Brighton, West Coast Main Line North, uh, that's the one from Carlisle to Glasgow, uh, and also the Edinburgh to Glasgow and the base Great Eastern Main Line route. Those are all the requirements. Yeah. Sorry, I was reading that West Coast Main Line from Faye because I was thinking of the Great Eastern Main Line itself up to Norwich and Abbey. I thought it was the West Coast Mainline Trent Valley when I got it as well, but at the time the route was released, West Coast Mainline Trent Valley wasn't out yet. It is a really great route. Um, it's really detailed, I do recommend it. Now I'm coming into Stratford, just past Maryland. Now somehow, whenever I pass Maryland on the train, mm -hmm. as I come into Maryland, it says, we're now approaching Stratford. No, we're Maryland. These Maryland and Stratford are really, really close together. Um, such so that um, in the 2012 Olympics, when they were um, happened, they actually had to shut Maryland Station because they were worried too many people would use it. Anyway, we have a 321 that's just arrived in on platform 10. That is also with a South End Victoria service. Yep. In fact, that's just departing. That's that's the point in it, isn't it? I, don't know, I, think it's I think it's just moving up the platform, actually. Yeah, it is. And welcome to Stratford. We've arrived very early. Yep, and of doors yeah, aren't open. Lights are not even on. How embarrassing. Yeah, I forgot to do that. And this is another glitch of the route. The doors aren't opening. Because you Right, I'll try that. I don't think that's the issue though, because I had to sit a similar issue when I was building the scenario itself in Victoria. We were supposed Trust to depart me. from platform two. Um, Trust me. I had to um, change. All trains at Stratford stop at the end of a platform on platform nine. Platform nine. We just passed the eight car stop though. We overshot it by quite some while, but. That's for platform 10. Is it for platform 10? You might be right, but there's no 8 car stop at the end of the platform where I've just got a 10 car and a 12 car stop. You might be thinking of Stadler's. No, I'm not. Alright, right, we're right at the end of the platform here. Uh, we've, uh, I think we've slightly overshot it, but the, fr the front doors... Yep, still no doors have opened. So it is a root glitch, and there is sadly nothing we can do about that. Try the other thing, we can do it from the uh, mini HUD. Hold down T, see if that does anything. No, that still does nothing. Uh, it's the same glitch we had itself in Victoria. Which is really annoying. And as good as this route is, <laughs> it does have its uh, bugs. Right, we'll just wait here as if we'd open the doors. We've missed out two stations in a row. Not good start. Good start. We probably wouldn't have even be. Oh, we can open the doors now. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Don't say that. Yes. No. You almost said. Oh, we missed out two stations. You were wrong about that. Might be because we was early. Yeah, it might have been. You might be right because it because I was able to open the doors. Bang on ten o two. But it shouldn't do that, you should be able to open the doors even if you arrive early. So 
Sometimes trains, sometimes train somewhere doesn't allow it. Sometimes. I don't. It's, I haven't had any experience of that with any other routes. It's slightly odd why it does that, but I'm surprised the front doors opened as well, despite we have a short platform. Hopefully, next week's stream, we won't have any door issue at all. No, we won't so have no any door issues. Because it's a just drains route. Just drains are the. We're doing like we're doing like a perfect thing with the with an Armstrong Powerhouse train and the Just Drains route. That is the perfect combination. Yeah. Right, next stop is London Liverpool Street, uh, where this scenario will conclude. We need to pass the guard. There we go. Getting a bit laggy again, aren't we? Like here, then it means more assets are being loaded, but um, oh, it's good because we do get um, some what landmarks. What anger might do is when they get more seven twenties in, and the feeder ones are no longer in operation or anything. I reckon they won't have any guards. They are probably using all the stadlers and things that do require guards. You might be right. I don't know if the uh, 720s um, or any of the services need guards because they're mainly suburban trains, aren't they? But they might still do. But it'll be interesting to see because the ones you really need guards for are the um, Norwich and 90s. What will be surprising is some trains will be helping out the Stadlers. They will be, they'll be, I think they do a few services to Norwich, they've been testing up there recently, haven't they? Yeah. They've also been testing uh, up to Cambridge and Bishop Stortford in the past month or so, haven't they? They've done the William Walmart, half a day, King's Lynn, only one testing on King's Lynn, um, Harwich International, Harris Town, Manning Tree, Ipswich, uh, Colchester Town, Rapton, uh, Old Occasional Tesla's on the South End Tory one, for the drug train. Can you do a stream on the North West Coast Mainline or Liverpool to Manchester? Ooh, that would be a good idea. I don't actually have the Liverpool to Manchester route, uh, but the West Coast Mainline North is definitely a possibility. I do like that route. What, what route do you have in mind to see these trains? Or, or what train would you like to see me drive on it? He means the section between Carlisle and Glasgow. Again, that is another really good route. That used to be a freeware route as well, and then DTG bought it. It's actually made by the same developer that made Suburban Glasgow, funnily enough. I think you can draw a Does it come with the... Dr. Kim's A6? Yes, I think. Does it come with 86 or 87? Uh, the West Coast Mainline over Shap comes with the 86, 87. Uh, that is the route between Preston and thing, but I can I can put, I can put an eighty I can do an eighty seven. Definitely. Now a good train you could do is an AB three fifty in the Transmine Transmine Express livery from Carlisle to Glasgow Central. Remember they used to go from Glasgow Central to Manchester Airport. There's a lot of possibilities for the West Coast Mainline North route. There's a lot of trains that operate that route. Uh, but with, the, with an 86 or an 87, we could do it in the intercity era because we haven't really touched on that on this channel. We've been going sort of modern day, but... Oh, the train's reversing. Lovely. Um, <laughs> that might cause an AI collision. Well, I sent it to a different port by mistake. 
think I set it to two uh, go via instructions in the wrong direction. But yes, uh, so um, for now, in case you do, if the scenario does crash or an AI collide into another AI, and don't forget that mishap where you used to a train past Ilford and that went all wrong. Oh, yeah. I've looked my, from my mistake there. I have. Um, now it's in a 322. Indeed, it was in a 322. I've not put any AI in Ilford because of that. If my theory is right, that's the only train you need for the AP86, isn't it? Apparently, North comes with an 86. I didn't get mine with an 86. Uh, the West Coast Main Line over Shap, which I also have, which is the section between Preston and Carlisle, that comes with an 86 and an 87. You might be thinking of the West Coast Main Line over Shap. But the bus, it, might, it might have done, because I got it, I got it, I didn't get it from an official Steam website, I got it from a third party. Mm. So they might sell their things slightly differently. Okay, I'm getting notifications non-stop for people <laughs> bullying me on Instagram. Yes, do go follow Josh on Instagram. Joshua Platt underscore zero six. Is it Joshua Platt underscore zero six? Think so. Yeah. I'm almost at a hundred followers. I think. Wow, you are doing well. You might beat me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get quite the message from someone saying. And we sh <laughs> we've just gone into the horrible sound court cone of Liverpool Street. Yep, we do. They are definitely loud. I can only just about hear you. Announcements are quite deafening. And here we are at London Liverpool Street. We have finally uh, actually made it the whole route. We've arrived two minutes early as well, uh, which is uh, very nice. Let's go out of the uh, sound cone out of this because it's just deafening. When's that 317 coming? Uh, the 317 is on the 1012 band for, um, what's well, on the 1012 uh, band for Hotford East. Here we have a 379 going to Stansted Airport, but we'll come back into it. Yeah, we have done a lot of Great Eastern Main Line recently, but I think um, we'll head off from the Great Eastern Main Line for quite some time. I think we've done everything uh, possible. But the West Coast Main Line North is a really good route as well. Indeed. As you haven't touched on this for a while, there's a, some, a train, a time trains, which is a 91 from Peterborough to York, and that's on a weekday service. Yeah, could definitely do that. Um, maybe, but yeah, we won't do the Great Eastern Main Line for quite some time. But um, uh, I'll have a look at um, various different routes, uh, including next week. So, thank you very much for watching uh, this video. Uh, I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, then I would really appreciate um, a like uh, down below and possibly a subscription if you enjoy my content. Yep, next week's stream uh, will be on the uh, beautiful Derwent Valley Line from Matlock down to Nottingham. Uh, in an AP class 156, you'll see what livery we're in uh, next week. I guess that gives some suspense to it. Um, after that, uh, West Coast Main Line North definitely will do. Um, I do take your request. Uh, it's a definitely a good idea, and I would like to uh, do it in an 86 or an 87, possibly in the Intercity slash Virgin era. Uh, yes, so thank you very much for watching. Oh, I've said that before, haven't I? Um, yes, uh, have a great week, uh, stay safe, and I will see you uh, next week.